he just kind of let him hang around in the first half just to like a cat playing with a mouse. <laughs> he let him hang around in the first half and they got to work. Yeah, it was uh... – it is what it is. I, I never felt, you know, okay, so everybody was like, yeah, it's 3 0 Chicago. But in the end, you knew that Aaron Rodgers was going to take care of business. Just like in the end, you knew that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers and Tom Brady was going to take care of business. Yeah. There's just certain guys in this league that you don't have to worry about. And Aaron Rodgers is clearly one of them, despite whatever uh, information about a toe and and the way people want to make it sound and sensationalize it, and Aaron Rodgers is obviously feed into that. But the Green Bay Packers are one of the top four teams that will be standing in the final four when it comes championship weekend. Yeah, I, I hear him on Tom Brady, even though I, I do think there's some home cooking there a little bit with the Bucs. There was a potential oh, yeah. P.I. call that was not called. I digress to come back the to dig, the, the digs play. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I thought yeah. that was a P.I. But anyway, we'll, we'll get yeah. back to the Packers. Yeah. Uh, I just – look. For the Bears, one positive thing, Kenny Grant. I mean, watching that guy, I'm like, all right, like reminds me of Devin Hester a little bit. And I think Justin Fields played decently. I just that was a, that was a hell of a run. Hell of a run. I yeah. just think Aaron Rodgers is just. I mean, this team is just built differently, and their defense, their defense has stepped up tremendously. They continue to grow. Twenty nine to thirty seven, three fifty, and what three touchdowns? Like the four touchdowns or something wild like that. Yeah, yeah. And and since his toe was discovered, that is now. I don't know, 600 yards and, and something like seven touchdowns. Yeah, it's really affected him. Just just great. Yeah, everyone got should six, stub their toe before they go to work. 650 <laughs> yards, six touchdowns, zero interceptions <laughs> the last two games. So even if Aaron Rodgers is at 85%, him throwing off his back foot and not being able to pivot the way he would like to because of his pinky toe, the team can still pinky win a Super toe. Bowl. His pinky toe. Shot my pinky toe. Pinky toe. But, Key, are you worried? Like, look, I hear him say uh, it's worse than turf toe, which is painful, right? So, yeah. it's worse than that. Then I heard it was the pinky toe. I'm like, all right, man, it's not your big toe. It's not, you're not going to put the same kind of pressure on it. But he seems to talk about it a lot. Like, like guys, this is Aaron actually. Aaron Rodgers talks about a lot, though, in general. Not just his toe. He's always talking. I mean, that's the beauty of it. And guess what? People like you run and just, like, oh, you just yeah. eat it up. It's just, right. You just, uh, right. it's like you can't toe, wait delicious. to digest it. Me I mean, that's just, <laughs> he knows what he's doing. And that's good. I play it. Play it all the way to the end. Um, if it was if it was that big of a deal, Aaron Rodgers certainly wouldn't be playing. And he certainly wouldn't be having the, the two games that, that he's played since we discovered his toe. He wouldn't be playing at the level that he's playing at, which Don't is an get MVP more credit level. In football, though, and tackle football in the NFL. Don't you get more credit if every time they ask you about it, you're like, no, no, it's fine. I'm out there, so I'm good enough to play, blah, blah, blah. Right? Like Everybody are- approaches it differently, though, in terms of the message that they're trying to deliver. It all just depends on who you are and how you want to deliver that message because there are a segment of people out there that will eat that up and they will talk about it constantly and over and over and over. This conversation that he had post game is going to run all day long it's going to start off on this show it's going to go to first take it's going no it's going to start off on this show go to get up it's going to move from get up to first take <laughs> first take the sports center sports center on then it'll be just in matt kellerman he'll be screaming and hollering and trying to get uh x-ray exams on it and pictures of it and then it'll go to the six o'clock sports center but before that it'll be on the nfl live i mean and then other other outlets across the country will carry it as well. I mean, we're, we're talking about Aaron Rodgers' pinky toe as if we're talking about Baker Mayfield and his torn labrum. You know what I mean? Like, like almost like the same severity right. to a degree. Let me oh, tell by you. the way, yeah. he'll be on a Pat McAfee show at some point in time, <laughs> no and I'm doubt. sure they'll put the x-ray up to exactly. show how the bone is <laughs> slightly bruised and curved. And That's Come right. on, man. Smart. So That's just, right. He just diagram. He just broke down how it's all going to happen. This is how the play develops throughout the day, right? But let me, let me offer a counterpoint, okay? Tell me what you think about this. You're going to get kind of clowned about a pinky toe, right? Like, if, 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 like if you're going to highlight something, why are you highlighting an injury to your pinky toe? Which is everyone's going to be like, uh, all right, man. Because even if, even if you silly, didn't have a pinky toe, like, so what? It's a pinky be, toe. Because the silly people are going to gravitate toward the conversation. So... I win regardless if I'm Aaron Rodgers. If I don't say anything about it, see, I'm going to make it appear as though the toe is so severe that at the end of the season, 
They're going to cut it off. They're going to just get rid of it. And then what you're going to say is, man, he's really out there playing with a, a toe that's just devastating, but he's slicing and dicing. What a tough guy. Man, this is why we got to have Aaron Rodgers. This is why Aaron Rodgers. And, and man, if, if there was anything severely wrong with Aaron Rodgers, he would not be playing football right now. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.